Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy Fletcher and this is Thrifty Thursdays. Um, I know you guys haven't seen me on my channel for about a year and a half. We moved to Portland, Oregon. We are actually right outside of Beaverton and we absolutely love it. The area is absolutely beautiful and there are some really great thrift stores here Goodwill and actually today I am bringing you a haul from the bins. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Baskets are really big and I have been going to several of the thrift stores and the bins over the last few months and picking them up and selling them on the classifieds. I don't have to worry about shipping them. There's enough people that live here that I'm actually able to um, do lots with. I have lots of people that are coming back to me to purchase um, more and more baskets. So that's really great. I'm um, really happy with how many customers I have here and I'm looking forward to growing them. So this is one of the first baskets that I found the minute I walked in the door. It was such a great day. My basket was absolutely packed full in about, max 10 minutes <laughs> it was kind of crazy but um it's just a really cute little light colored um basket it's actually lined with a little bit of plastic on the inside it still has the remnants of where a tag used to be so um it's actually new it doesn't look like anybody's ever used it and if you know you go to the bins you have to be quick to get baskets because they get crushed so um, that is my first little find. My second find has a little bit more of a really light terracotta kind of, um, maybe almost like a salmon-y kind of color to it. I really love this basket. Um, you could use it for plants or even use it as a lampshade. I think that would be really pretty. I was actually able to find these really great coasters. Let's see if I can get that in there so you guys can see that. Um, there are six coasters and they have um, flamingos on them. I don't know if you're able to see that or not. You can see the little flamingo on there. There you go. Pretty cute. And it says Florida. They were actually wrapped in paper, um, newspaper from 1984. So I would definitely say that those are vintage. <laughs> Next, I was able to get two hanging baskets. Still had the tags on them. Um, let's see, the price on these were regularly $6.99 and in Canada they were $10.49. Um, they are Decor International tags. And I was able to pick up two of those. And those are brand new. So I will probably sell those for um, probably five bucks a piece. Um, everybody's wanting to hang their plants, put, put plant baskets on the wall. Um, I do a lot of lots. Um, for flat baskets and I'm running really low. <laughs> so today was my day and we had a birthday party straight up at six. And of course we were a little late. It's kind of what we do. Um, but we ran and grabbed um, a birthday gift for our granddaughter Michaela and then ate everything that we weren't supposed to. The New Year's, you know, we're all saying we're gonna lose weight from this COVID. But um, anyways, so my next basket that I picked up was this um, grass basket. And I do sell a lot of these. Um, it has a double handle on it. It has a little bit of damage right here that I will have to repair. Um, I'll probably sell this for between eight and $10. Um, I'll probably put it on for 12. Um, see if I get any hits and then um, the next day I'll move it down to 10 and then the next day after that I'll move it down to 8. I tend to like to move things pretty quick so that I can rejuvenate some of the cash that I've put out. 
Um, so I think that's um, pretty smart. As far as it comes, um, the first basket that I showed you guys, um, generally these go for if they're like more sturdy, um, like this basket here is a lot more stout than this one. This one would actually make a really cute lampshade too. Kind of into that right now if you can't tell. But this one will probably sell for eight to 10. I'll probably put it on for 10 and then I will turn around and do eight and then maybe seven the next day. So, but that would probably go really fast. Um, this one I'll probably do for um, probably six and then uh, it'll sell right away. It, they usually just don't even last um, when they're that inexpensive and they're this size. Um, people like to use these for the garbage cans in their bathrooms or like I said, a lampshade, but um, that's here or there. Let's see. Some other stuff in here. We took uh, my granddaughter Piper with us and she grabbed some stuff, but I am grabbing another big basket for you guys to look at. So this one is a good size basket. Um, this would make um, for apartment size if you're one or two people and you just need um, a basket that's about, it's about just over a foot a foot and then there's that lip area that sticks out just a little bit further but um for like a couple of blankets or just some towels rolled up in your bathroom is always a really good idea um any kind of storage um you know in the summertime if you guys um uh, you know want to do like your blow up floaties that kind of thing you could just kind of put those all in here take it um, to the pool or to the beach, whatever with you guys. That's always kind of a good way to repurpose a basket. So um, this is the next basket I picked up. Um, it's a, a shelf made all out of branches. It's super cute. I also have the little chair that goes um, with the shelf. It looks like I need to do a little repair. The nails in it are so itty bitty, if you could see the corner of that. So super tiny. But um, yeah, I picked that up. You know the bins, you know, they're pretty inexpensive. So that was a good little find. Next, um, I picked these up. Um, a lot of people put these on the wall. Um, let me see. I think I've already sold, I think I've sold all the ones that I have here at home. I have a pile of baskets, believe me, but I have sold a lot in the last few days, but um, I tend to sell this for, if they're a little bit bigger, um, about 10 or 12 is usually pretty typical, but for this size, I would probably sell it for um, seven or eight. So I would probably just start it at eight and work my way down. But um, generally you could also use it for a small um, bowl. And then you could put um, chips or crackers or whatever in this, or you could hang it on the wall and do um, a couple of succulents in it or some air plants that works really well. And then I did pick up three of these baskets. Um, these are from Ikea and they have the piece that pops out the bottom. There's the Ikea sticker, if you guys can see that. So I picked up three of these. I might use these for myself. I haven't made up my mind. But, um, and I have any, I don't even know what these go for. I don't even know if they have a price on them. No, I don't see a price on them. But um, it is kind of nice to have an Ikea here. Mel and I went there um, a few weeks ago and picked up um, a couple of things from there. But anyways, so here is another storage bin. Um, I would say this is new. It might be a little dusty, but it looks new. 
got cute little bows so you could put it in a little girl's room or even in your pantry to put um, you know your snacks or whatever in so that was kind of a great find and this one I would probably sell for five or six bucks so this one is a double handled basket I did find another one just like it, but it had a lot of damage on it. Um, like I said, when you go to the bins, people just kind of toss stuff around. And people are getting to know me at the bins and what I like to find. And I know what some of the regulars like, so we kind of work together when we're all there at the same time, masked up. We keep our six feet. We just really kind of hand it to each other, say, hey, I'm gonna leave this right here, see if you're interested. But this was one of those baskets that um, one of the other people that were checking stuff out handed to me. This one I will probably just do um, 10 bucks and it will go really fast because storage does. Um, I did find this cute little um, spice grinder. I'd already had a tag on it from Goodwill. Um, so at the bins you know that it's stuff that they haven't sold in the stores or they just have they're clearing out, um, you know, items that are too alike, and uh, they take them to the bins. So next, I got this basket, and it's very similar to this one. They might have just came from the same group with the bows. And uh, this basket, I'll probably sell for ten, and I actually got two of those baskets. So they still have the tags on them um, from where they were made. Of course, made in China. And um, so yeah, that was those two baskets. And then I was able to get this soap pumper. And that noise you're hearing is Mel bringing more stuff in from the bins because we did get more. Um, thank you. So this is another basket that we just picked up today. And I'll probably sell this for six. This will be good for Easter, great for plants, flowers, if you're pulling them from your garden later in the summer. But anyways, guys, so that is um, my haul from the bins today here in Portland and the Hillsboro um, uh, Goodwill bins. And um, we will see you guys next time. Believe me, we're out every day, masked up, being safe, washing our hands, using our sanitizer, and bringing you great videos. So we will see you next time. Make sure and smack that like button and subscribe. And we're happy to be back. See you guys next time.